<laughs> well, you've got a new present, haven't you? <laughs> I've got a new present right in it. Yeah. Uh, should we? Should we? Damn. Not very well prepared this time because all of my scenes are deleted somehow. But yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. But what we could do is click to your PC because that's the only button yep. that we got. We'll we'll do we'll do this. Yeah. But yeah. Um. What we could do is uh, we could check out the the um the shop link the, actually. Go and click over to my AliExpress then. You ready for this? Boops. Okay, so you're going to check out the shop link of the okay. X. It's the one with the eight, I think, eight thousand games. Pandora EX eight thousand. Okay, this one from that's from the Pandora Saga official store. Do you get it from the Pandora Saga official store? There's, there's an official store. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> it's, it's probably Ying Lucky renamed. Uh, I, I got the Ying. One. I got the Ying one. So it's probably from the okay. same factory anyway. I think like someone said it before. Was it Matt that mentioned it, it before? Be. That they're probably all from the same mark. It's from the same factory, and yeah, not surprise. These me. are all. But There's the no thing is, if you just check out, one. yeah, check out the big picture there. Yeah, look at the top. Mm. There's no right. It looks like a fan, but that ain't a fan, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a pretend fan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Un so so in the box, right? Um, I I will do a video on this later. But in the box, it's basically the the little uh, heatsink, the tiny heatsink, but but stamped onto that, squished onto that is a, like a larger heatsink. So okay, let's of, see if we can find. I think it's a sheet of aluminium. I'm, I'm I don't think you'll be able to see see it from uh, from the the pictures here though. Sorry, cheer, cheers. There we go. Here's a back one though. Hmm. Uh, you can see it's not a standard sort of layout. It's got sort of like vertical uh, USBs and uh, yeah. an SP diff out. Uh, where I've tried you that. Plugged in? Are you plugged into your Neo Geo console, or uh, where are you? What? What? Where am I now? Oh yeah. But, yeah. Um, where does it plug into? On it. I'll show you using this web thing here. So I've plugged. I've stuck okay. it in here. Yeah. yeah. But it does not fit completely. Ooh. It, it's yeah, yeah. It's got buttons on top of it, and it just can't fit because the uh, the top of the heatsink that I said you know said the, there's a larger sheet of aluminium. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, that means well because we're hey, using Robin. that big heatsink in there, um, it's stuck to the top of the uh, of the actual case in there. Yeah. So I need to use the big piece of plastic. So we can't actually make a lot of space in there, so it's very, very cramped. So I'll be able to push it together somehow, but it's, I don't think it's a really good fit, ah. you know, for these cases. Yeah, we found the other day a picture of the EX inside. I suppose we've lost that now, haven't we? <laughs> well, yeah. But basically, uh, here it is. Here it is. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So you see so that heat sink there. Yeah. So there's that, nice. and then there's like the chewing gum kind of uh, stick, you know, the glue. It's kind of like a hard glue, mm -hmm. like chewing gum, stuck on top of Underneath that. It. Oh, on top of it. On okay. top of that, and then there's a large sheet of metal. Yeah. Which um, is stuck this... to the top of the case. So it's just basically a heat dissipation thing and nothing else. Yep. Yep, yep. And we have this sort of daughter board here, and we have the main board here. And the main board seems to be from what's it called? The Pandora Mini TV box. That's the wrong. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Which uh, I don't know if we can find it. Um, oops. Pandora Mini TV. How many games do you have? 3,000, right? There's 3,000 on that one, yeah. And on this one, there's 8,000, but it's probably full of just uh, dodgy hacks. These are probably all gone games. 3,000. I think it's still on there. Yeah, there yeah. they are. There they First are. One, yeah. This is the. Um, the original box, and it's got the same sort of logo, yeah. it looks like. So yeah. they're basically taking this this box and put on an add-in card, mm -hmm. which is this, yep. to enable you to have two extra USBs, volume, and your normal pins for your <laughs> two extra. Yeah, you're saying two extra USBs? <laughs> well, there's two here. Yeah, there's two there. Yep. Th there are four USBs there. <clears throat> there are four USB yeah. sockets. And you said your sockets. <laughs> There's four sockets. But what do they do? What do they do? Do any work? Um, good question. Um, One at least works. Right. So yeah. So 
one of each works, but not at the same time for controllers. Which is a complete wasted wasted chance, right? It's complete oh, waste. Dear. You see what I mean? Like there's four yeah. there, right? We could have had like one for like ADB and uh and the connection to the computer. And mm. then we could have had three other controllers. That's a great chance, <laughs> right? For uh, yeah. a little box like this. Opportunity uh, missed, I reckon. Yeah. If you can only use one of right. them as a controller. Uh, yeah, they probably had some reasoning behind it. You know, cheapness. <laughs> God knows. Maybe. Um, but the interesting thing is, there's a pin. There's pins on this, right? Here, you mean? Yeah, there's the... pins on it. Yeah. So, <laughs> if anything, we might be able to get it to the same kind of level as the Pandora Games 3D for controllers. But I've not tested that yet. With yeah, with Tekken and uh, the PlayStation games and things like that, it didn't really work. I reckon that will probably work. Um, but if we have a look here, somewhere when this is the Wi-Fi chip, mm -hmm. and somewhere I'm looking for the NAND. The NAND is usually one with loads of pins, but um, it's probably going to be this sort of one here. It looks looks similar to the um, to the one on the nine H. It'll be on but that be side mistaken. because we've got the small the yeah. small box, haven't we? So. That, that won't be it, no pins at all. And these are probably just RAM. So uh, there's not much left over. It's either, either going to be one of these little things or that thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, this has a NAND in comparison to the other Sagas, which don't. And mm. um, what's the size of the SSD? Uh, uh, the it's SD 128 64, right? gigs, that one. Oh, you, you've you got 128, okay. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, the thing is two, there's 160, uh, sorry, uh, 64 and 128. Okay, so this one still seems to have 8,000 8, games, so that means you've got one which has got 64 gig free, or how does that work? No, I've know? got the 128 gig, 8,000 game one. Yeah, but, uh, ah, right, the 64 is 6,800, yeah, yeah. and the 128 is 8,000, right now I understand. Hmm. Okay, so we've still got only one person watching. Hello, Robin, again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Has anyone said anything in the chat? This looks familiar. <laughs> Does it not? <laughs> Seen this before? Uh, vaguely, vaguely. Sorry, should, should I just move move your head out the... Uh, Whatever you do. Whatever. There, there we go. go. Yeah, Wi-Fi 3 Pandora Saga. 8001. Oh, it's X squared. X squared. There's, there's a little two in the in the corner, so X squared, right? Right. Um, what have we got here? Do we want to have a look through firmware? What what version's running on there? Oh yeah, sure. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> so yeah, uh, twenty nineteen, August twenty sixth. Okay, the old one again. It's the old one. Yep. Yeah. Exit mode, coin settings, all the same. Same old, same old. Okay. Also, key settings, I think, very similar to. We've seen it all before. It's the same as the mini box, same as... Was it the Sagas on this as well? Is that right? Yeah. Same old. Do you want to check on the game market? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could do. But the thing is, uh, the one good thing about this board is that it's got... Um, ooh. Okay. It's not working. <laughs> oh, well. One good thing about this is we've got um, a, uh, we had. an Ethernet. <laughs> yeah, we've got an Ethernet cable LAN, which would mean we've got a great, a great network uh, connection, so we can easily get to the store and like quickly download games, perhaps. But never mind. Uh, yeah, not not now. <laughs> not now. <laughs> not now. Sorry. But we can okay. check some of these uh, if you want. Are we gonna... Yeah, go on then. And um, should, should we uh, should we let people know? Uh, yes, uh, we've uh, tested the usual jailbreak. Um, it works on this. At the moment, there's um, no way to um, get into recovery mode. So there's you can back up, but you can't really restore. So uh, we'll have to have a see if there's any way in. But at the moment, it looks quite fine. Um, and jailbroken, you have all the advantages of the uh, aspect ratio switching. Yeah. And see. someone else has... Just join, I think. Right, what game do you want to see? Usually go for Tekken um, 6, just to, yeah. just to see the speed there, yeah? 
Yeah, go on then. All right. So if if anyone's in the chat, if, if it's too loud or anything, just let us know. We can uh, change volume. Yeah. All right. Actually, I, I, I can't hear anything, but never mind. <laughs> so I'll just play a game. Did it not work? Did it work? Get ready for the next battle. Alright. But it's fine. It's going to be terrible as you Round one. Goal 92, four player. Stone ball, four player. Okay, we're done before. <coughs> yeah. Four player without the four player controllers. Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is that? <laughs> Not Batman. It's called Batman. No, Bat. it is, Bat. that's the real name though. So that's quite a surprise. No. I remember this. Yeah. I've seen this once on a YouTube video. Six people in the chat. Hello, everyone, whoever you are. Anyone? <laughs> Right now, seven people viewing, but uh, one in the chat, so Rob has to talk to himself. All right. Oh, run and gun. Okay. What Many the people hell? Want that, Super Mario Brothers hard version? Oh, you want to see that? Uh, uh, what is that? Is that sort of like a hack? I don't know. Or a snare thing? This is me. Okay. I did not know there was a Mario arcade. Yeah, there you go. Apparently this is hard. It's not too hard. <laughs> I'm managing this. I don't think it seems anything. There's no difference to the actual normal version, does it? Unless I'm just magic and see if it's easy. Nope. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's, hard. <laughs> it's, it's too hard for me, that. But man, it just seems more of the same. Oh, the story of a big shellfish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh wait, Earthworm Warrior 2. <laughs> That's going to be worth him, Jim, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But let, Spider Man um, really is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good for people who don't really want to install an awful lot. That's GBA stuff, right? Yeah. Um, but it's a different question how, how well configured they are. Okay. But. Well, you want other to check than the games, do you, do you consider this uh, better than any other consoles? Who, it, me? To me, it's like, like yeah. You've always been a little fan of the, the Pandora Mini. I've been a fan, but the thing is, I've been a fan after messing about with it. And also, we don't know about the controls, right? For the, the, the Mini, is just the controls are really bad. So yeah. that was the main thing. So what we could do is try some control, you know, control pad. Yes. Yeah, could do. Have you got any handy? Uh, this Logitech. I've got a few actually. I can try a few. All right. You know, if you want. Okay, so. Hello, we, everyone. If we hit the menu button. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I can't see uh, my head's in the way. Oh, there we go. I'm player one. Are you moving everything? Right. So. So. What's this controller that's plugged in now? Yeah, this is the Logitech one. Yeah. But the thing is, the usual problem was uh, whenever I used something like a Tekken, if mm. using a normal, well, just using a regular controller, it wouldn't work. Nothing would work. Pick up nothing. <laughs> Interesting. It's working. Round one. Try something else. Fight. Crappy game with that. Okay. <laughs> Not really crappy game. It's probably the arcade stick that I made. Oh, that's perfect. The one that I made. Oh, yeah, that one. Can't move. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I, can't, I can't move, but I can't actually hit the buttons now, so. Have a look at the Let's hardware. Let's move to Dave's PC. He's currently logged into this Pandora box in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Buy it from Germany. <laughs> from Germany. Right, let's have a go. I'm, I'm not actually logged in yet. Um, Shell next. Now I'm 
should be logged in now. Yeah, now. So this is going from uh, Germany to another place in Germany, uh, and then to Japan, <laughs> and from Japan to uh, your router, and from your router to your Pandora. There you go. So uh, I'm gonna say hello, hello to my uh, my box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so in, <laughs> I'm actually surprised this is going quite fast. We'll have a look at um, the CPU at the moment. Uh, cat, what was it? Proc CPU info. So inside, it's an ARM seven processor, uh, and it's got or it's it's detected four processors, so four cores basically. Has this got uh, more of that bo bogger wimps than the other one? Bo bogger wimps? Uh, no idea. Huh. Uh, I'll have to compare. That. I haven't got the number in my head. If Matt was here, he could tell us. Um. It's not really telling us an awful lot, really. Um, we can have a look at the menu. Cat, proc, memfo. Yep. So, moment mem total is 814. So, looks like a gigabyte. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Around, it, or not. Is it sharing memory or something? It's not quite a gigabyte, is it? Unless it's... Is that times 1. Uh, 1024? No idea. It's around a gigabyte of memory. Mm. Um, let me look at the partitions, cat, proc, ah. So here it's basically um, not naming the partitions here. You've got one here, which is probably the, um, yeah, this is the 128 gigabyte NAND, uh, SD card. Yeah, and on the board is a four gigabyte NAND, which is split up into these partitions. So, uh, one of a couple of them are three thirty two seven six eight, which is the usual size for recovery. I don't know if I can do this. Look, look at this better CD. Okay, so uh, you've got the larger one, which is the uh, data, is it right? Yeah, the data the partition. The data. And then you got the system one that's about, yeah. I think, about seven hundred megs. Okay, so these are the names of the of the partitions there. So we do have a recovery here. Um, yeah, just slight, slightly different layout to the Pandora Games 3D, but it's still all the same stuff. Um, so we can probably if we type in DF. Yeah, you can see exactly what's mounted here. So you've got two on your data partition. You've got 2.2 gig left. On the system partition, you've got almost nothing. Forty-three meg left. Uh, Forty-three meg. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, this is. But that's usually read-only anyway, so it's not really changing it. But this one, this one's the more important one. Mm. And for temporary files, or that goes to the cache here. And as you can see, uh, this is not usually there. This is um, the save enabler for the Dreamcast that comes with the um, jailbreak. So uh, that's that's not a usual device here. This is a virtual device. Yeah. But, um, have we actually checked if uh, Dreamcast saved? What, nope. what? We could we could flip back and maybe get have a go. Sure. Could you actually tell us how much um, how much free space the the three D plus has on the data partition? I think that was a little less. That was one point something. One point four. One point four, right? And uh, yeah. How about the system? Um, I think that was about 100, but I'm not sure. Let me just compare this here. Sorry, yeah, have you noticed how many, actually... how many Dreamcast games are on here now? Crazy Taxi. Taxi 2, Power Stone. Huh. Well, two pages, so 20, 20 games. Not bad. Yeah, so this is the limitation of the emulator, right? That it's... Um... All right, it's all the all the characters are there, so it's all working. Okay. Yeah, on uh, this device, via VGA would not display in full screen, but it's not a problem really because we don't have the VGA support. Okay. Yeah. So um, the Dreamcast only has HDMI, so basically you have no resolution problems with Dreamcast. You can use the flat panel then. Well, I, I'm not uh, well, I need to turn the volume. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
Okay. 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 Okay, so um, the restriction to green cafe solution that, that doesn't work on VGA isn't important at all because you can't connect to VGA. Uh, so this is the console flat panel version. Hi, Mr. Hatch here. Hello. So, um... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what we could do is... What I did want to check out was the, uh, the temperatures. Compare with the PG3. Uh, we're going to have to create a temperature. Ah, uh, it's just too much, alright. So, Smartphone! back. Wait. Alright. Now, it says here, um, it's uh, not ADB shell, it's LS, sys, class, thermal. So, LS, sys, class, thermal. And then we'll see whatever's in here. Mm -hmm. So, there's several devices and it's them and there's thermal zone zero so uh, we need to change that to cat thermal zone zero temperature 60 degrees probably some of the thermal zones may return weird values oh, Try again. so 60 <laughs> um what we could do is try the other ones. I don't know which ones these are. There's no fans in the thing, so maybe it's just different chips. Uh, there's no temperature in there, so this looks... I'll tell you what. I'll start like playing, and then you do it, yeah? Yeah. I wonder if I've got a watch command here. One second. I do have a watch command. Okay. Watch. Uh, where was it? That one. So this is not doing it because it's dim let me do this like this there we go let's fire it off now it's gone up to 65 64. are you playing right now yeah i've started grand turismo <laughs> okay <laughs> so <laughs> don't do any don't do any power braking <laughs> don't stop the car <laughs> jog, jog. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> So it is doing something. Yeah. It's definitely doing something. Well, um, we have three D and three D plus. No, top of your head. No. Nope. Um, we can compare them later. <laughs> we can compare them later. So playing a game. This is pretty recent consensus. This is Gran press Turismo, press man, on the PSP. Press, press two buttons at once. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll press many buttons at once, right? Right, um, yeah, we're at 70 degrees, that's about it. Alright. Okay. Okay. I don't suppose it's overheating. That's pretty decent, then, yeah. Alright. Right. So, so it's doing something um, in the heatsink. Shall we do something completely different and import um, the save game state to see if that works. They're not the states, the, the save game patches. Oh, you mean the PSP? Uh, no, for uh, all for the main games, it can't usually save. We've got this text file. Uh, the, the batch import. Oh, right. The okay. Features and whatever it's called. Yeah, um, we'll let me that. see if I can start that from here. Oh, you, you can do it from the, there. I, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got uh, all of the, the, the Pandora Games 3D APKs decoded here. So somewhere in here, it'll 
will be batch in. Let's have a look. Batch delete, batch update, game flags. It wasn't game flags. It was game support, wasn't it? Game genre, game yeah, support, yeah. supported features. So that is in uh, factory settings. So if we go to factory settings, into resources and into Android, we can have a look, see it, see the activities that are in here. And there's quite a few. Uh, and there's update game supported features. So if we take that and we have a look in the application for the name, which is factory setting main application. Oh, I'll copy that first. And now, are we watching me here? Yeah, right? Yeah. So, uh, clear am start minus n. Yeah, I'm really hoping that the, the jailbreak that I put on it was the newest one. <laughs> yeah, well, if not, it won't work, will it? <laughs> so, game supported features. Uh, let's have a look. Copy. Uh, is anything happening at your end? Oh, you mean nope. the on the Pandora? Nope. Uh, it's not main application. I don't know what I'm doing here. Do you want to flip it over? This? Yeah, flip it over to the Pandora. Okay. Okay, should have done something now. Um, let me flip it over and wait. Da, 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 da. wait. Oh, yeah. Um, it's processing, so something's happening. So, it, yeah, and if you flip it back to mine, I've now typed in log cat and it's currently going through all of the games and updating their save state settings. So I'll just pause it here. So it's going through Strider, whatever, Strider UA, Strider, whatever. So what this is doing here is just changing the settings for MAME, all the arcade games. So you can save yep. state, which we're because not. The... Well, just flicks them all off. On, doesn't it? Yeah, but um, there'll probably be more uh, main games on here now than the previous version right. so we'll have to update this list oh dear so it so it um also does the game list of this new saga so we can enable safe states on every single game that supports it in main so with the jailbreak um we've got ftp running on port 7777 so we can get into this machine exactly like the other ones um if we wanted to show ftp we'd have to do it on your end though mm. um telnet is running Okay. Um, yeah. And this here is actually um, a port which is open on the machine that people can connect to from a local network. And you can actually uh, forward controller commands to the machine. Um, so if you're like in an internet cafe, you could, and someone was messing around as the owner of the cafe, you could log into your Pandora and say, okay, exit, 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 exit. And Stop it would give quit their game. Ideas, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, people are going to start like hacking into my Pandora right now. Nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's finished now. Yeah, we can just see the normal, um, normal uh, log messages, and we can actually we could actually show here how the jailbreak reacts to um, certain commands. Like if you're pressing buttons. Oh, right, yeah, you sure. Press... It's the Let's mini box, it. isn't it? So, yeah, that didn't work before with the mini with the mini Saga because you had to use the controls, didn't you, the control pad? Yeah. So that wouldn't and have worked. one works, does it? Um, um, what was the other one? Like, yeah. um, oh, FBA. So it's the start button and uh, D. And you can get to the dip switch. Uh, the dip switch is on the board. So uh, what do you want to change? Uh, um... Let's change heroes to many. Yep. Okay. And uh, really easy. Uh, yeah. One and um, and blood. And I don't need a manual because I'm really good at this game. Actually, you know what? I've never played it on anything easier than well, just standard. Um. Okay. So let's try. How do you get? How do you start the game now? You, you got it? Yeah. After, oh, there we go. Okay. Let me go back. Exit. What you could do there is just uh, save it like that. If you wanted to, but I don't need them. Uh, poor thing. Hey. Okay.
So, how's the audio? Is that okay? Is that better? One, uh, let me just start. click back and see. Uh, thanks, lol. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, You're welcome, lol. Stephen or Ste Stephen? Stefan? Stefan? You German, yeah. Stefan? Stefan! Um, yeah. Yes. The, uh... <laughs> what's that? Stefan? <laughs> yeah, Stefan's German. Or Stefan. Stefan. <laughs> Yeah, so this this part here usually uh, it usually goes slow, and that's on the original unit, the original uh, Neo Geo. So what we need yeah, to do there is just basically speed it up. We can do the speed ups for this for this system as well. Why are you why are you playing? Yeah, I have sent you a link to get the speed up. Oh, is that the is that the that's the encrypted file, yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is going a bit slow here. Yeah? Oh, yeah. oh god, that's oh god. That's disgusting. <laughs> Stick the USB stick in the Pandora. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm doing now. And you're gonna upload to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How dodge is this, man? <laughs> so dodge. <laughs> Alright. So it's in the storage. <laughs> External storage. SD card one. Okay. Nope, that's do you not want to, it. Uh, do you want to uh, flip over back to my screen? Okay. Um, and we've screen? got... There we go. So we've got here uh, CD storage, CD external storage. Uh, where are you uploading it? STA1? Uh, I need to remember where it is. Uh, I've just put it back in. Oh, can you see it? One second. Storage. Is it yeah, storage? now it's there. So uh, you've got several things on there. Yep. Yep. And are you uploading right now? Are you connecting via FTP? Yep. So I'm on FTP so, now. So I'm going to throw across the MC games, Mac games. Boom. Yeah, and it, it should start. There we go. There's Mac games. Now it's thinking about it. CD Mac games. Um. M slug two, yeah, and in here yeah. you've got the ini file. So M slug. Oh wait, two. I need to delete uh, metal slug, don't I? Yeah, you can do, and I can start the installation from here. So okay. So here it says, "Are you still on my screen?" Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm not. Again. Sorry. Do you want me to on, the, on your screen? There you go. Yeah, so we just do that again. So the INI file, which gets which you can install uh, with your ROM, sets the CPU to twice as fast as usual. So let's figure out how to install ROMs from the USB without having to restart or reinsert the game in game USB. So in here, there's the Android. So the, the USB, we're not messing around with it. That's a good point. Good about that. Ooh. Only trying to be clever. Yeah. Done. So. There we go. Install. There we go. Did we get? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We need like, we've nicely tested Mission. it on this board yet, so this is the first Start. time. Yeah. <laughs> it should be working. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Night and day. Working well? Oh, night and day. Look at this. This is just... Thank you. Butter. Okay. Can we get to a pot? Are you in the, the uh, rocket games? Or, yeah. That's the main thing, isn't it? You. you can see it. You can see that it's just, you know, a lot more fun to do before. Thank you. But as well, like, you know, we always say that the uh, saga, the, the usual saga is like really, really quick. But, yeah. You know, it's responsive, but controlled. This one, you can always serve. So. Good. Well, we're going to show anything. 
go go down patchy on on patchy on main go down patchy i think and then we can uh, show that the save states are enabled. Yeah. So do do don patchy is that right? Yeah. I think it's on main. The bootleg is it? No, wait. This one. Do don patchy. Do don patchy. Yeah. That's the one. And uh, normally at uh, stock, these ROMs are completely misconfigured. Configured. They've just been imported incorrectly, and they can't save. But with that little import that we did before, which you can do over the factory menu, you don't have to do it over the uh, over Pelnet or any. How do you get into the factory menu? menu? Um, settings button, and you press player one F mm, four times, see, right? Yeah. So what we're looking at so here? in the menu. Okay. Um, Quick Try and save, save, yeah. save, save a state, yeah. Quick save. Boop. There we go. Yeah, so it's um it's compatible with basically basically everything. There we go. Um so the only thing you can't really do anything wrong with this except if you somehow do software completely um there's no restore yet. Because, uh, you can only get into it when it's booted, so it means you can't really um, mess with partitions or anything and reset things. So th this machine will probably have some sort of way to restore it by a, a key card. Oops, dead. What's that? Yeah, you didn't last very long there, did you? Um, on purpose. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to change the difficulty down a bit to like one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we have a look through the uh, the hacks? I mean, what what kind of uh, systems? Like before, there was a few uh, new ones on the Dreamcast, yeah. Oh wait, yeah. brick well, brick making what... alleyway. Brick making. So yeah, this is what one of the things that kind of like. You know, I was kind of surprised. Like, check this out. Each one of these games, like, there's no movie. It's just like one frame, <laughs> just to <laughs> save space. Can you see this? Oh, invincible! Oh, right, hack. Right. So they have, they've okay. So they Gee. haven't really cared, to be honest. Yeah, they, they don't give a shit. They just want the uh, the game numbers, I think. Um. So this would be interesting to see how. The folders are named same as usual, man. For the games, what with uh, the Pandora numbering scheme? Oh, good call. You want to check that on your um, side? Yeah, I'll have a look here. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, where are we going? Where are they? CD uh, storage, external storage. Yes. CDSD card. Hello, Rob, who's about to uh, send a message. CD games. Oh, I let the add not work. So, what have we got in data? CD data. So, where have we got? The GBA games were new, weren't they? GBA. A lot of GBA, yeah. So, they aren't named like Pandori. None of them, looks like. So, they've been added in, in some other different way. Not like on the other console where it looked like someone had used Pandori to beef up the system a bit. Um, so a few of these will just have like a static video inside. Oh, hello. Now that looks a bit strange. That looks a bit iffy, doesn't it? That looks a little uh, <laughs> Pandori. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That looks yeah. like Pandora shareware. That would that would explain why there's only twenty. 